Yes, that's right. I got a tattoo when I was 14 years old. Welcome back to another epi. So I hear you want to learn something about tattoo removal or laser hair removal. Great, because today we're going to be talking all about that. We've got a lot to talk about. Welcome back to another epi. In one of my vlogmases, I showed me going to laser hair removal and get my tattoo removed as well. And I got a bunch of questions, so I promised you guys I would film a video and talk about it, talk about everything you need to know about laser hair removal, tattoo removal, all the questions, and my secret tattoo. Yeah, I have a secret tattoo. <laughs> Most of you guys don't know about it. I mean, at least I don't think you guys do. You may have seen in some of my Instagram posts. I always try to edit it out, but I always forget, so... I'm gonna kind of section the video off. First section is all the questions I get about laser hair removal and tattoo removal. And then I'm gonna go to my appointment. I'll try to vlog. Um, they're usually super chill about this stuff, so they'll probably let me vlog, but if not, I'm sorry. And then after, I'm gonna talk about my tattoo and why I'm getting it removed. And no, it's not this one. I love this tattoo. It's my favorite. It's my native name. I'm obsessed with it. But it's my other one. But I guess let's just jump into this video. I guess we can go all the way back to my 16th birthday. My dear mother got me, <laughs> why is this sound so professional right now? For my 16th birthday, my mom got me a laser hair removal treatment package, which is so cool. It's like every girl's like dream gift, like so cool. The gift of never shaving again, so lit. So I was so excited, so I started this all when I was 16 and I went to Envy Skin in Indina, Minnesota. I'm gonna try to give you as much deets as possible, so that's the clinic I first went to. I got the package for underarm as well as Brazilian, which is like everything. You can also do bikini, you can do um, like landing strips maybe, I don't know, but I did Brazilian, so I got everything. But my package was at Envy Skin was six treatments and then 18 months to come in free after that for $1,650, and I know it sounds like a lot, but if you think about it, you don't have to pay for razors ever, you don't have to take the time to shave ever, like you will have no hair, and honestly, just getting it all done, it is so worth it. So that was pretty cool, if you guys don't know how laser works, you go six to eight weeks in between each treatment, so it took me about a little bit over a year, if I remember, to finish all the treatments, which was honestly not that bad if you think about it. The only thing that sucked is like this place was an hour and 15 minutes away from my house. So I would have to drive so far for a five minute session. That's another thing. They only take, they take less than five minutes to do everything. It's just like a quick zap, zap, zap. So after my six sessions were up, um, my hair wasn't completely gone. I have pretty tough hair. So I had 18 months to go in again for free. So I think I went in one more time and I got a free session. It wasn't completely gone. I'm not gonna lie, my hair wasn't completely gone. Then when I moved to Arizona, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my tattoo removed. My embarrassing tattoo that I just don't need on my body. It's in such a good spot. I could put another tattoo there that was like so much more meaningful and cute and actually not weird. So I called Laser Away and little did I know they also were a laser hair removal place as well. So not only did I get a tattoo removal, but I also got some appointments for my underarms because they weren't completely gone yet. In my head, I was like, oh, should I spend this money to like keep it going if it's not even gonna work? Or since I'm halfway there, might as well complete it. You know what I mean? And I was kind of like, might as well complete it. Like I'm halfway there. Like for laser away, I just did my underarms because it was kind of like a lot of money to put down at one time and I was paying for it. So I kind of wanted to just do my underarms right now. So I got a package for eight treatments for $358 and the only reason I got it for this cheap because it was 70% off and that was like a determining factor for why I actually kept doing the underarms because I was like, oh, it's so much money to keep going on this. Like, is it ever gonna end? And then it was like 70% off. So I was like, might as well do it. Like, oh my God. I also bought six treatments of tattoo removal for $399. So that's all the logistics. There's a lot of questions that I feel like people want to know about laser hair removal or even tattoo removal, so I'm gonna answer them really quick before I go to my appointment because I'm about to miss it. The number one question is, does it hurt? How bad does it hurt? Does it burn? Like, what does it feel like? And in my opinion, it really does not hurt that bad, especially because it's for less than like 10 seconds. Like, each underarm is probably like 
it's probably like 30 seconds being realistic but like if you think about it just count to 30 and it'll be over it really kind of feels like little needles getting stuck in you maybe rubber bands being snapped i don't even think it's that bad i guess you could compare it to burning so you kind of smell the burning but it doesn't really feel like your armpits on fire if that makes sense the thing that hurts the most in my opinion is your the jean that ew that was such a <laughs> That definitely hurts more, way more than armpits. Does laser darken your skin? No, that is a false accusation for laser hair removal. <laughs> will your tattoo completely go away? Yes, they told me my tattoo will completely go away, especially since it's black. Apparently black ink is the easiest to get out, which is so weird. You would think it's the opposite. You'd think like a color would be the easiest because it's not as like pigmented, but no, black is like the easiest one to get out apparently, so thank God. Why am I getting my tattoo removed? If you only saw it and knew the meaning behind it, I think you'd, I think you'd know. I don't want to tell you till the end of the video. Okay, I'll just wait till the end of the video. Is it uncomfortable, like, meaning the girls seeing your vagina and butt? Yeah, honestly, the first two times I was like really self-conscious, especially because you can't see, like when I, I get a Brazilian, you know, so you can't see your butthole, like at all. And I'm like, I don't even know what it looks like and you're seeing it, like this is weird. And let me just tell you the position you have to go in. I'm gonna show you because I know this is weird, but I would wanna know if I were you guys. So I'm gonna show you what I have to do when they're lasering my butt. You literally have to go like this and hold it open. I don't know if that was really gross for me to show you, it probably was. But I just want you guys to know, okay? I want you to know the uncomfortableness. If you think about it, imagine how many of those they see a day. Yours is probably not the grossest, honestly. Another thing is, when you get laser, you can't go like in the sun and expose it to sun, otherwise it really messes up the whole thing, especially with your tattoo. So whenever I go in the sun, I just like cover it with a band-aid, my tattoo, and it works out good. But let's go to my appointment because I'm almost gonna be late. <laughs> I was getting so lucky. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually. <laughs> that is a lot darker than I am. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing that's gonna make me sweat. Ooh, look, look at the little pinpoint bleeding. That's good. And you still have your glasses. Look at that. And you can take this ice pack because okay. either have a great day, have fun editing that. <laughs> like to, uh... Okay, just got out of the appointment. It went great. I have lots more information to tell you, so I'll just talk in the car so we can have more of an intimate conversation. You know what I mean? Okay, why did I put my seatbelt on? The part you've been dying to know, the tattoo. There's a bandage on it right now, so I don't want to show you it, but I'll insert pictures of what it, no, don't fall, of what it looked like before. And it'll slowly start to fade throughout this 10 weeks. She also did tell me that I should wait a little bit longer in between so my body can like, kind of like, discard it more, if that makes sense. So yeah, that tattoo, it is some hieroglyphics, some Roman numerals type B. I don't even know what it is. I thought it was so cool. I did get it four years ago. I got it when I was 14 years old. 14 years old. And it's actually kind of big too, which is so weird. It's, it's about this big and it's like a little sentence. I don't even want to tell you what it means. It is so stupid and embarrassing. Now you know why I want to get it removed. It's so stupid. You might be wondering like, how did you even get a tattoo when you were 14? Well, this girl at my school 
was doing like stick and pokes to everyone like it was like so cool to get a stick and poke so me and my other friend were like oh my god like we have to go stick and poke like oh my god let's go stick and poke like oh my god we're gonna be so crazy i did it and then i regretted it probably like two years later i actually thought it was so cool for like a whole year but it's not it's really not that was my fourth session and I think I have six or eight sessions of that. So I'm almost done. And it actually is fading away like really good, which is super cool. She even told me today, she was like, I never guarantee that um, your tattoo will be 100% like gone. But I really think yours will be 100% gone because you are like the perfect candidate for it. Like everything is great. So I'm like, thank you. I love to hear that. Oh, one other thing. How my parents found out I had a tattoo. <laughs> This is actually kind of a funny story. We were on vacation when I was, it was probably when I was 15 at this point, so I had it for like almost a year, and I had a swimsuit on, and it was a swimsuit that I could easily cover it up with. It went straight across, and I was like, waited till they were all relaxed on the beach, and I was like, guys, I have something to tell you. I have a tattoo, and the face that my mom, <laughs> she was like, what? Like, she was so pissed. My, my dad was kind of pissed, too. But, like, my sister was literally, like, laughing her ass off. She was, like, videoing it. It's so, so funny. They were so mad at me for a while. And then they were like, honestly, whatever. It's your body. Like, you messed it up. You're going to have to deal with it if you don't want it. And that's exactly what I did. I'm removing it. So. so, yeah, that is my laser hair removal, tattoo removal story. Comment down below if you have any other questions and I'll definitely try to answer them because I know it's kind of scary if you don't know anything about this, but I definitely think it's something that you should invest in and honestly helps you out in the long run. It's just such a hassle to have to shave all the time and it's helped a lot. My mom also has it and she hasn't shaved in forever, so there's a candidate for you. I'm hopefully going to get there one day. I just have to continue with my sessions and it will all be good, but I love you guys and I'll see you next Thursday. Thank you.